and the and the toilet never flushed. Not never, but most of it. It just, in fact, the New York Times did a story on us, and her last line was because she was sitting there when somebody ran up and said, "Arthur's toilet's not working," which is <laughs> her closing line in the piece. <laughs> Actually, she did a very nice piece on on a film being made. I mean, she sat you know, for a day and kind of reported on huh. the things that went on. And I thought very, very nicely. wasn't either a, wasn't that wonderful or those who, terrible. Who did people. the piece? Uh, Bennett is her last name, but I don't remember her first name. Judy, I think. I don't know the name. Yeah, and uh, I thought she did a. Okay. Okay. In those sequences where uh, Bard and Claire talk at the audience, who or what did you tell them they were talking to or at? A shrink, the audience, one another? Uh, to a person that they cared about. Uh, and uh, what I tried to do, they were not certainly not talking to each other. Uh -huh. I mean, they, happily, you could say, if they wanted to think they were talking to a shrink, that was okay. Talking to the audience, uh, basically to a friend who they cared about and they felt they could express themselves. And what I did, well, we had a very long lens on, actually just to, to diffuse the background so that, so that they wouldn't be in any particular time or place. Mm -hmm. So I then stood right beside the camera, but quite a distance away, and I would talk to them and just chat mm -hmm. away and talk and ask them questions and ask them how they felt about something or or discuss something with them, trying to lead them, A, to the emotion, and B, to the specific line that Oh, so you really did want a specific line out oh, of Oh, yes. The lines are the lines that, that Barry Sandler wrote. Huh. But we had, obviously, I could come around three or four times to the same line, and sometimes they would catch right on. And sometimes they did them a little differently, too. It was mm -hmm. all right, but basically yeah. the, the emotion of that. Yeah. You're a... Uh, schedule here must have been very limited, at least in terms of the kind of sets you're using, let's say in contrast to uh, Man of La Mancha or something yeah, of that sort. What would you say your shooting ratio on this film is? Uh, the amount of film or the amount of days? The amount of film in relation to the amount of, the, the length of the film. I honestly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that I'm heavy. All right, do you film. take a lot, of, do yes, a lot of takes? Yes, I do a lot of takes. Uh -huh. I do a lot of takes. Sometimes not so many, but I do more, let's say on the average, I do more than most directors. I use more film than most directors, and I probably, I print more takes than, than most mm. directors. You, you don't, or put it positively, uh, you think you'll just get more what you want out of a later take than the no, first one? No, not at no. all. Just, I'm reaching for certain things, and sometimes you get a little bit in one take and a little bit in another take, and and you have ways of then they think, oh, we could put these two Take together that. Mm -hmm. and that. So, sure. Uh, or sometimes it depends a lot on the particular film. Some films I print take one, take two, and let's say in hospital, uh, most of what you saw on the screen was, I'd say, the first three print, the first three takes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just trying to think on making love. I would think probably closer to take seven or take eight. Yeah. You've dealt with uh, stars that have reputations for being, let's say, temperamental. George C. Scott, Peter O'Toole, Al Pacino. Does that or did that in any one of your films to any extent influence the shooting time, the, the l number of feet you shot? Uh, yes, it, it does influence it. Uh, because sometimes when you're dealing with uh, actors like that, and, and, and let me uh, withdraw George C. Scott from that, because Scott uh, comes in totally prepared. If you could film the film 
in two hours. He could film it in two hours. Mm. He is that ready. And he's still very open to, uh, uh, to directing. In terms of the other two actors you ask about, uh, they are very strong personalities, as indeed is Scott, but they are far more, I don't know quite what the word is, but within themselves in terms of what they are doing and what is right. Uh, and I if see. you, the director, have a different opinion, it may take time either for the discussion to go on or for the disagreement for you as the director to try and get around the disagreement, if that's what you're trying to do, mm -hmm. or for you to, whatever device you're using to, to get what you want on the screen. In some of the uh, pre-publicity for Making Love, there was talk about a gay consultant, uh, somebody who was working with the script ahead of time to making, make sure that it wasn't defensive any? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Okay. Uh, the script writer himself is, is homosexual and uh, I don't think was drawing on, not that I'm aware of, on, any, you know, on anybody sure. else's. Uh, I'm, sh I'm sure he spoke to people, you know, uh, oh. but no, I don't think any differently uh, than that. I uh, drew on, uh, during the filming and uh, in preparation, we all uh, drew on uh, at various, you know, sources. Then, yes, mm -hmm. uh, I spoke to uh, two psychiatrist friends of mine, and to one uh, therapist who has researched considerably in the field of uh, homosexuality, uh, and actually, in sense of like my first attitudes were to I went by my instincts and I developed certain feelings how to handle these characters and what they would do in these situations. Then that. I may be, there may be something different that mm -hmm. I have missed or that I've not, so I would, I then consulted these people and found uh, that my thinking was, that my I instincts see. were, were right. I see. How do you feel about the comment that making love is very cautious in its approach to the, the topic? Yeah, I think that's a, that's a legitimate uh, comment. I think it's, I don't know about whether cautious, you know, it depends what you're looking for. Yes, we could have made a, a film that were much wilder or, or where the male relationship was shown to a greater extent or something. But, you know, those are choices you make in, sure. in every film in terms of what, what it is you want to, to say. I mean, some people said, uh, who've seen it, have said, well, but also you, you, you showed only uh, such very nice people, and they were all so intelligent, they were all so bright. So that's true too. But that's a choice the writer makes. He's permitted to, to select, in order to tell his story, the kinds of people that he wants to tell a story about. Mm -hmm. Now, as long as he is honest to those characters, that's right. legitimate on his part and legitimate on my part as the director to make certain choices and the actors for the, in, the, in the same ways. Uh, one of the reasons I liked let's say, the, that level of, uh, uh, of uh, a person we, we deal with, the intellectual level, uh, and all the, the sort of care about them, is that, uh, and I don't know whether this is uh, what, what you meant, but I don't think this is what you meant by cautious, but uh, part of that is that it also hones in on the problem a little more. Uh, in the same sense that uh, oh, I see what you're that Stanley guess uh, Kramer did. So guess who's coming to dinner? Right. You see that you have to face that particular issue because you you, you clear yeah. out the others. Sure, you see. I get so, you. So so part of it uh, was was that uh, that thinking. Now that's hard because that's something you can say, hey, that's what we did, but that's not something that you know that goes through to an audience who's sitting who's sitting and watching it, sure. but it, uh, to some extent it must hit them that, mm. that they're f if they are facing an issue that they have not faced before, that they, they have to face it a little straighter on maybe than they, uh, than yeah. they, than they would have. I, I hadn't thought of it that way. Yeah. That's pretty very good. It, yeah. it does work, no question. Good. Of it. good. Thank you for doing the interview. Thank you. And thank you, and yeah. thank you. <laughs> I wasn't you were getting sure. nervous.